Hello and welcome to this tutorial on merge, join, concat and append. Now questions on these topics often get asked in interviews and if you somehow evade this topic in the interview and pass it then most probably on your first day at work you will be given two or more data sets by your boss and you will be told to join them in a particular way. So it is better that you learn how to do that here itself. Now we'll first look at merge. Now pandas merge function will seem quite similar to people who have a SQL background. So suppose now we have two data frames, a data frame A and a data frame B. Now there are four types of join possible, inner join, outer join, left join and right join. We'll first look at the inner join. In inner join, what we do is we merge these two data sets together and we find all those uh, rows or all those values which are common to both of them on a particular column which is also called the key column. We we'll look into this more detail in a while. Now we we'll look at outer join. Now in outer join what we'll do is now when we merge these two data frames together we will take the intersection and will also take the ones that are not common to either of them right so this is called outer join now left join in left join we take the intersection of both a and b data frames and all those elements which are only exclusively available with a so basically we'll discard all those values which are only present in b and not available in a and similarly right join is when you merge these two data frames you will take all the elements which are present in the right data frame including those which are common to both A and B but you will not include any of those elements which are only available in A. Okay so these were the four types of joins. For example we have two data frames an English data frame and a math data frame. Now the English data frame contains a few names of people and their marks attained by them in the English exam and the math data frame contains name of a few other people or some matching people who attained uh, their, their own marks in the math exam okay so now when i say inner merged when i say how is equal to inner what will happen is it will as i said before it will take the intersection of both the data frames so it will first look at the left data frame all the ele key elements of the left data frame now when i say key elements key means the columns that i want to merge upon okay so i will uh, tell pandas that i want to merge on a specific column in both the data frames now for example i tell pandas that i want to merge on this name underscore one and name underscore two these two columns in both these data frames so what i'll do is first i'll see adam here and I'll f try to find Adam in all of these values. Now do I see Adam in any of these values? Yes I do. So in this first one I see that there's one Adam here. So in this inner merge result data frame I will create a row and fill in with Adam 50, Adam 10. So you see Adam 50, Adam 10. Okay. We'll see what this from where column means in a while. Now next we see that next we check if there is another Adam in this data frame okay so do we see another yes we see this one is at index number one so we include this row as well because this Adam is present in both of them since we are looking only for the intersection of both these data frames now we find Adam is common again so we again say Adam 50 and this time we'll say Adam 15 so Adam 50 Adam 15 okay next we see a robin here so do i see a robin in any of these no which means that robin is present somewhere in this white section of a which is exclusively to a hence we will not include this in the result data frame we will discard this data okay next we'll see mike now do i see mike here no i do not see mike here hence we'll discard this as well Next we see Andrew. Now do we see Andrew here? Yes we do. Hence we will say Andrew 18 and Andrew 2. So Andrew 18, Andrew 2. Next we will see Jack. Jack is 30 and again we see a Jack is 22. So Jack 30, Jack 22. Next we will see Aaron. So Aaron is 21 here and do we see Aaron here? Yes we do. Aaron is 70. So we will say Aaron 21, Aaron 70. So this is the end of this inner merged data frame. So it will only have these five elements. So 
this is how inner merge works now we'll see the outer merge now outer merge how it works is it is the same data frame as before okay now outer merge as i said before it will include all the elements in both the data frames so first it will see uh, the in the left data frame the key column is name one so it will uh, take the first name adam and it will try to search for adam in this now does it see adam here yes it does so it, it will include adam 50 adam 10 similarly it will again uh, find adam here again so it will again put adam 50 adam 15 okay now it will uh, see whether now it does not have any other adam here so it will go to zobin so zobin is 41 here but do i see a zobin here no but since this is also green in outer it means that i will have to include this value as well so i'll put a zobin 41 here in the english column and and because there is another uh, because i am merging these two data frames i will have the name two column and also the math column included uh, glued together with this english data frame in this uh, in this final outer data frame okay so now robin 41 name one english so robin 41 name one english but robin does not have is but robin is not in the name two data frame so it will be filled with nine values okay so robin hasn't given the math exam so it will be a nine value and robin's name doesn't appear in this name too as well next we'll look at mike mike is also not present here so again mike but we have to include mike because this is outer join so mike again so we'll say mike 24 and 99 because mike is not present in the second data frame now we'll see andrew andrew is present here so andrew will be in both of so andrew will be a full column with no nan values now jack 30 and jack 22 jack 30 jack 22 now alan 21 and alan 70 will again be included alan 21 and 70 now we have we do not now now we have to know that there are few values in this right math data frame which are not present in this left data frame like dennis and mark but as we see that this uh, green section is also included in this b1 okay which are not present in a hence we will also include this dennis and mark values so dennis 42 and mark 11 get included in name 2 and math section in the math column and and similarly uh, like here we will have nan values in the left data frame values because this dennis and mark are not present in the english data frame they are only present in the math data frame okay so now we see what this the meaning of this from where column is it tells us where this row comes from okay so we see that adam adam it is present in both data frames and it is saying both now robin robin is only present in the left data frame hence it is saying left only similarly mike is only present in left so it is saying mike uh, left only now dennis and mark they are saying it is only in right only because it is only present in the right column okay next we'll see left left as i told it will include all the elements that are either exclusively to a or the ones which are common to both a and b so we'll see that adam adam so adam 50 adam 10 then adam adam so adam 50 and adam 15 so it is saying that adam is present in both now mike we do not see mike here but we know that we have to include all the elements that are present in only in the left data frame so i will include mike nonetheless so mike 24 i will include so and it is says left only because mike is only present in left now i missed out robin here so robin robin is also present in only in the left data frame it is not in the right but i will include it nonetheless because as i said before it is in the a data frame now andrew jack allen are present in all of these andrew jack allen as before now we see that dennis and mark they are present in the right data frame so basically dennis and mark lie somewhere here but we will not include those in the output data frame result data frame because it is not in the green section here and it is a left join okay now now right is basically complementary of the left date the left join what we'll do here is we'll find all the common values and we will keep all the values which are exclusive exclusive to b like for example adam is common to both so adam 50 adam 10 adam 50 adam 15 so we have these two rows here which is saying that this is coming from both now robin and mike they are only present in the left data frame here robin and mike so we will not include them in the output data frame 
Andrew Jack Allen, Andrew Jack Allen. So we'll have Andrew Jack Allen, which which we see that they are present in both, and hence it is showing both. Now we see that Dennis and Mark are present only in the right data frame. So we will include Dennis and Mark in the because this is a right join, and we will include Nines in the places where uh, Dennis and Mark were not present. That is in the left data frame. Okay. So these were the four joins. So we'll first import. pandas as pd now for the sake of uh, saving time i have uh, these four these two data frames english and math i've already typed here out so i'll just execute these codes okay so th what this split is doing is so this is a list i'll tell you what it does now this is a string this is a uh, this is a currently this is only one string but if i call dot split and if i tell what value to split upon so i'm telling a split on the space okay i'm giving a space here now when i press enter uh, this will create a list and each of the names will be a different name okay different element of the list so this is how the split works so now uh, so now the first uh, english data frame has name one column and an english column now this math data frame which is the same as we saw in the slides okay so now we'll see how an inner join works okay so inner merge basically join and merge they basically used interchangeably so it doesn't really matter what we say now we'll say pd dot merge now we have to pass in at least three arguments here the first argument is the left data frame left data frame is my english data frame now in my right data frame is my math data frame now when i press control uh, shift tab tab in this period of merge it will show me all the arguments that it can accept so first it says a left left data frame which i provided english now right data frame which i provided math now it is asking me how i want to execute it so i'll say okay i want it to be how is equal to inner now the next argument is on so this on is also very important it is basically the column on which Uh, i want to merge these two data frames up data frames upon so i know that in the first english data frame it is on name underscore one column and in the math data frame it is on name underscore two column so as these two are different names name underscore one and name underscore two i cannot use this single on name i'll have to use left on and right on these names are pretty self explanatory now i'll say left on is equal to name underscore one and then write on is equal to name underscore two okay the next arguments next ones are not really important right now so now i'll just press enter now we got the same data frame as we saw in the slides before so now we'll see that column which we had here from where column okay so what i'll say here is that Uh, there is another argument here which says indicator it is currently set to false now if i set this indicator is equal to true it will tell me where this row was taken from so it will tell me that it was taken from both the it is what it was present in both the uh, data frames so since i am telling it to do an inner join it the values must be present in both the data frames for it to be included in this outer uh, in this result data frame okay so because this is an inner join next one what we'll look at is outer join uh, outer merge basically now we'll say pd dot merge now we'll say left is equal to the english data frame again right is equal to math and uh, for your information we can interchange these to math and english it doesn't really matter but for the sake of clarity and for the sake of continuity i'll keep it english and maths in the same order now how i will have to specify as outer in this example now left on and right on are same as before and also indicator is true okay now indicator if i give it a string of true okay now see the difference here what will happen is now it will output here true the as the column value 
there's a column name and here it is showing in uh, underscore merge it is because this is a boolean true since it is in green color and this is a string true because i have uh, enclosed it in quotes and hence it is showing us true here now so this is the same data frame as we saw in the outer outer data frame slide okay ne next we'll look at a left merge left merge is same as this one so i'll to save some time i'll copy this one same i'll just put here left and i can put in here anything for example okay qwerty so i'll see the name of the column is now qwerty and now this is a left data frame so if you want to check if this is left or not you can see this qwerty column here this indicator column it should say either both or it should say only left because as we saw here in the left one it should either say both because the value can be present in both or the value can be present only in the left data frame and hence it can be either left only or both as you can see both of these data frames are same so next we'll look at right merge right merge what we'll say here is simply right and indicator since it is optional we can entirely get rid of this and we will not see this this indicator column because by default it is set to false okay now we see this is the right data frame we can check by saying indicator is equal to true and it will tell us either all these rows were present in both of them both the data frames or these denison mark which are present only in the right data frame so it, it has excluded the uh, mic and uh, mike and robin it has ex excluded these two because these two are present in the left the white sided but i am only asking for this now okay so this is how uh, merge works now you must be wondering this left on you have whether you have to type this left on right on every single time the answer is i will tell you what what happens here now to make you understand what these arguments are and how to use them i made these two names as different columns i made these two columns as different named columns for example if i just say name here and if i again say name here okay so now these both these data frames have the same column key column names of name and name now if i call pd dot merge i just have to specify i just comment this out now i just have to specify a single on keyword or uh, basically an argument it will say on is equal to name because name is common in both these data frames i can just provide one here one name here and now you can see there is only one name here as opposed to this name one and name two in, in these uh, other data frames uh, result data frames so you see how this on is used and you see when to use this on and when to use this left on now if you wanted you can also use this left on and right on in this right in this way you can say left on name right on name it doesn't really matter because you know internally that both of them are the same names so you can say left index is the left column is name right column is name so you can just say on is equal to name if you know that both of these columns have the same name so but if for some reason they have different names then you can then then you have to use this left on and right on and hence i showed you this example okay so we'll keep this one and we'll say name underscore two name underscore one just how it was before right so we again have name one and name two here now until now what we have seen is that uh, we had only one key column a single index a single leveled key column now what if we have a multi index okay so we'll see what happens when we have a multi index for example uh, in now instead of just the first names we have adam smith we have robin johnson we have the last names also and similarly we have math one another data frame with the same or different surnames now we'll quickly look at an inner join using multi index 
so what i'll do is i'll just copy and paste this simple line of code and i'll say i'll say multi index merge okay so now left i'll see the left data frame is english one right data frame i'll say one now how uh, i'll first say inner okay now left on i know that left on is now a multi index so i'll pass in a list here of f name underscore one and l name underscore one okay so i'll say f name underscore one comma l name underscore one i bring this to a new line i'll say write on is equal to f name underscore two and l name underscore two and i'll say indicator is equal to true now you see that uh, you, i will only get adam smith and adam smith here because it is present in both the data frames now if you see here there's a first name last name adam smith and we have adam smith again here so adam smith is twice coming uh, in an inner join adam smith it will first check with this adam smith it will be true then adam smith will check with this adam smith then again true and hence we'll get uh, 50 10 50 15 okay so for any of the other combination like mike ramsey we do not have mike ramsey we do not have andrew silver we have andrew jackson here now so it is not silver so it will not be an inner merge now jack rice we have jack morrison in this one now we have aaron bold we do not have aaron we do have but we have aaron lee so we have only two uh, two values which satisfy criteria if i say left it will give me all the elements like mike ramsey robin johnson jack rice aaron bold because they were present in the left data frame only and it will also give me the two ones the two uh, rows which are present in both because this is how uh, uh, left join left merge works so now next we'll look at joins now joins is uh, internally it is built using pd dot merge only so technically you can totally never learn this join function or join method and always rely on pandas is merged for all your data frame joining needs but as you know that it is never too bad to learn something which the pandas developer thought might be useful in certain scenarios so we will learn this how this join works now join is useful when both the left and the right data frames have the columns that they need to be joined upon as the indexes now as we saw here in the merge all these uh, columns they were normal columns they were not indexes but in join it is helpful if we have both the key columns as the indices okay so now this spares us the time to specify the on column here as we saw we had to specify the on column in the merge right that on which column do we want to merge upon so in join we do not have to mention that column because join will automatically look at the indexes of both the data frames and will join accordingly on them okay so now if no okay fine we'll look at an example first now i i've created a new data frame for this purpose now uh, it is a science data frame it contains name of five people six people here who have given a science exam so and these are the marks obtained by them now this is a geography exam so these are six uh, seven different people or same or i mean some are same so and some are different so they give the geography exam and you can see here both of these are indexes now the, the names are the indexes here the names were not indexes the names were normal columns in merge we had to say pd dot merge right we had to say pandas dot merge but in this we have to say the left data frame dot merge dot join sorry okay so left for example the left data frame is my science data frame okay so i'll say science dot join and now i'll have to specify the right data frame right is my geography data frame now if i press shift tab tab it will tell me the science data frame is the first data frame left data frame now i have to join it on the other data frame other is my geography data frame okay i'll just press control enter here now what i see here is that uh, 
since as we saw here this is a left join by default okay so left means that uh, in these two data frames in this science and geography now uh, this vein this vein person occurred in both of them so we have a vein 41 and a vein 17 so we see that we have a vein 41 and a vein 17 here in science and geography you see that uh, science it has automatically created a geography column and science column for us now so next one uh, it will go to the frank it will see frank whether it is present in yeah see we see frank is also present in geography so it will include include frank 51 and frank 28 like this and so on so you see hence since this is a left data frame we have for example we have this pat here pat is only present in the left data frame pat isn't it isn't present in the right or the geography data frame but we have included pat here because this is a left join by default okay so we have included pat here and since pat hasn't given the geography exam it is a nan here now if i say how is equal to inner you will see how all these pat which has a nine value and lee which has a nine value will disappear you see how pat and lee have disappeared we have only four intersection values which are these four values were present in both the science and geography data frames hence we see this since we saw that in join uh, both of the if both of the uh, data frames have index as the columns to be joined upon we do not have to specify the on uh, argument right is that on what column do do we want to join but what if in one of those data frames one uh, the it is not an index column basically if this name is a normal column then what would happen we'll see what would happen here i would say geo dot reset index and it would now so now uh, this geography data frame now we have integer indexes now and this name is a normal column okay so, so now I'll say geography 2. This is a new data frame. Hmm. Now, to now, as in this, uh, now what we see here is if both of those left and right data frames are not index columns, then at least the right data frame that is which have which comes in the uh, parenthesis that must have the column as the index column and the left column can have any other column right now we'll see what uh, i mean by that now for example uh, since we have the science column uh, since in the science column we have the name as the index we'll have to include it in the parenthesis here so we'll say geography 2 we'll keep geography outside now geography 2 dot join now we'll say science here because we know that in this science data frame the index is the the index is the column that we want to join upon right in this uh, in this science data frame the index is the column that we want to join upon <coughs> hence i'll say science here and now this geography doesn't does not have the index column as the column uh, to be joined upon and hence i have to pass it outside uh, now <coughs> i'll have to pass in on is equal to and now i'll pass in the name as name so now what pandas will do is it will check this on is equal to name column and it will go into this geography 2 data frame and take the name column and it will join on this name column the index column of the science data frame okay so when i press enter I get this result so now this because this is a left data frame I get all the results from my left data frame even if they were present in the right one and I also get all these veins and the franks and the tonies and the souls which are present in both of them so this is how a left join works but if I specify is this is equal to inner we'll get rid of all the nan values now this l suffix and r suffix what this means is that if for example in this geography 2 in this geography if this name was psi okay if this column name was the same as this column name psi in the first data frame so what would happen is 
now this geo2 so this now this is also psi here so if i try to join this it will give me a value error because column overlap but no suffix specified right so what it means is that both the columns have the same name so pandas will not be able to decipher which column means what so we'll have to specify l suffix is equal to and suppose i say example left okay and if i say r suffix is equal to underscore right so now what this l suffix means is that it will check the left data frame left data frame in this case is geography 2 which is this one so this l suffix it will assign the science column name this suffix so we have science underscore left so as you can see here vein 17 and we have vein 17 here and vein 41 is in the science right column so it is right so but even if i do not give this right it will be enough because at least we have given one of them and now we have different column names okay so this is how the l suffix and r suffix work now what we saw here was that we only passed two data frames we only joined two data frames together now what if i want to join two or more than two data frames together so what i'll do is uh, for example my three data frames are the geography data frame the science data frame and the science 2 data frame okay so i'll say the left data frame i'll define as for example geography dot i'll say join and now instead of passing just science here as i did science here i'll pass in a list of data frames here i'll say science and science 2 okay so now pandas will automatically glue geography science and science 2 these three data frames together now how i can specify for example if i say how is equal to outer if i press enter now again it is giving me an error because it has overla overlapping values now since i made uh, the geography uh, i'll again make this geography Okay, press again it is giving me an error because okay because this science 2 data frame also has the name of science so i'll give it this name as science 2 okay so we have different column names now you see since i gave an outer it is given me all the values in the three data frames and for example this andre it occurred in geography data frame it again it attained 88 marks it did not give the science exam so it has zero it has nine and it gave the science two exam so it is also again 88 now if i do how is equal to inner what will happen it will give me only two values two values because only these two values are present in all of these three data frames and inner join takes an intersection of all the three all the data frames which is which is, which it is asked for so tony and soul only these two people give all the three exams now next we'll look at concat now using concat we can concatenate two data frames or series or, or data frame and series on either uh, the row axis or the column axis which mean that i can either glue them vertically one below the other or i can glue them one beside the other okay we'll see with a coded example how to do this now it, this concat has only two options join is equal to inner and outer it does not have left and right now by default the join is given to be outer so that there's no information loss on concatenation yeah so we'll see how axis is equal to zero and how we can specify axis is equal to zero and axis is equal to one for example i'll say pd dot concat if i want to concat the science and the geography data frame i'll simply say science comma geography i also pass in sort is equal to false because it is it is just a and this is not an error this is just a future warning that in future the sort will be changed to false currently it is set to true the sorting of these columns okay so i'll explicitly pass in the false now what i see is that the science and geography uh, i'll bring them down here the science data frame and the geography data frame now these two data frames have been placed one below the other 
right so uh, this from vein until soul we have here from vein until soul we have here now from for this geography we have rocky until soul again so from rocky until soul again we have here so we see that these two data frames have been placed one below the other and uh, since the column names were not same this had a column name of science this had a column name of geography hence the two column names were created but if we had only one column name for example even this if this was science then we would have only one science column now i can also pass in i can also say pd dot concat i can pass in a list of science comma geography and i can say access is equal to one so by default here i forgot to mention that by default here, access was zero okay you can see here by pressing shift tab tab access is equal to zero and join is equal to out join is equal to outer by default if I press and I'll have to specify again sort is equal to false now when I pass it access is equal to 1 what will happen is it will join on the index values as I, as I say here if access is equal to 1 okay that is if the data frames are placed beside one another the indexes are matched now as you can see here thus in the science data frame I have the indexes as Wayne, Frank, Pat, Tony, Lee and Sol and the geography I have these. So now uh, when I pass axis is equal to 1 this concatenation will take place along the column axis and all the indexes will be matched. For example this Wayne guy this gave science exam in the first data frame and this Wayne guy also gave geography exam in the second data frame. So since this Wayne matched in both the data frames so pandas will automatically keep a single vein here and it will assign the values for both the columns here so this is uh, how but so this is how we have to be careful what we want we are asking pandas for right so we, we have to be careful whether we want access is equal to 0 or access is equal to 1 now we can also give here join is equal to inner if I give if I give inner to only give me Wayne, Frank, Tony, Sol because only these four people gave the science and geography exams, right? So by default, it is an outer join. So this is an outer join. It will contain nine values as well. Now I can also pass in another argument called the keys argument, which is if I say keys is equal to A and B, these number of keys must match the number of uh, concatenating objects. Okay, so if I case, say keys is equal to a comma b, so now what will happen is this will create a multi index and this keys is equal to a, this would highlight, this would, uh, this would highlight all the science data frame values and this b, this would highlight all the uh, geography data frame values. If I say this is an x data frame, so now you know how can this be helpful? I can say x dot locate and I can say simply A. When I say A, it will give me all the Wayne, Frank, Pat, Tony, Lee and Sol, which is basically the science data frame. So I can filter data frames out very easily. If I give this keys value, I mean if I want to keep a track of which data frame ends where and which data frame starts from where, I can give this keys argument. Okay. I can also give this keys argument here. So I can say keys is equal to A comma B. What will happen is this will create the keys column on the columns. This is the column multi index now. This is not a row multi index because we have specified access is equal to 1. Okay. So you can check my multi index lecture if you uh, are unsure about how to select or filter data frames using a multi index. I have explained it pretty clearly in those lectures. Now, next we'll look at append. Now using append we can append two data frames together one below the other. Now we cannot do this one beside the other as we saw in the concat. We can only glue two data frames or two series or a data frame and a series one below the other. As we see here, we see a left object and a right object. This left object can be a data frame or a series. This can also be a data frame or, or a series. Now for example, uh, if this is one data frame and this is other data frame, if I call an append on this, what will happen is this vein to soul, vein to soul we see here, 
and this socket to sole we see a socket to sole here now it will try to match this column names if it can match the column names then it will keep the same column name and it will pass in all the values that the students obtained okay but now if the columns are dissimilar for example if i try to join science and geography data frame what it will do is it will create a new uh, column here for geography and for, from vein to soul from vein to soul it will give the science the values obtained the marks obtained and it will give nans for the geography and for the uh, for, for the rocket to soul for rocket to soul it will give the geography to it will give the marks obtained in the geography exam and it will pass in nines for the science exam for these people so as you can see append can only append one below the other right so this was all so we can now see uh, how append works we'll say uh, science dot append and we'll say geography we'll also say sort is equal to false as you can see here this is the same data from we obtained before since we have different column names uh, it has created two different columns now we look at a real world example of how so this was just a fictitious example to make you understand how all this works now we'll see a real world example of how uh, your boss can approach you and tell you to find interesting insights uh, extract ex uh, interesting insights from data okay so now now there are two data sets in the data folder one is the world happiness report for the 20 year for the year 2019 and another one is the covid 19 report as of the 27th april 2020 okay now let us check if there is any sort of correlation between the happy countries that is which rank higher in the world happiness report and the number of covid 19 cases in that country using the merge okay now how we can use merge here is that first i will call the two data frames I'll call the happy data frame as the edge data frame. I'll call pd dot read csv. I'll say data slash. It is named this world happiness report. I'll show you this. This is the data frame. Okay, it contains the name of the country and the ladder is basically the rank of rank of the country. And these are the few parameters which we do not have to worry about. Next data frame which will import is the COVID-19. I'll call it the C data frame. I'll say pd dot read csv data slash cumulative 2017 27th of April. Dot csv. Okay. I'll see what the C looks like. So this contains the name of the countries and the confirmed cases as of this 27th, the total number of confirmed cases, how many have recovered from this COVID-19 disease and how many deaths have uh, unfortunately occurred due to this pandemic. Okay. So this contains the list of all the countries. So as you can see, it contains 185 rows and, uh, and the happiness report, we have 156 countries. Okay, so now we'll see how pd dot merge works. We'll say pd dot merge. Now first we'll have to specify the left data frame. I'll say left data frame is my edge data frame. Now my right data frame is my C COVID nineteen data frame. Now what do I want to merge on? Now my boss has told me to merge on the country, right? Because I want to find uh, the correlation between the rank on the happiness index and the COVID-19 cases in that country. So I'll merge on this country region column name. So I have to pass in this exact name. So I'll say left on. So you see, this is where left on is helpful when we have different column names for in different data frames. Right on, I'll say right on is my uh, right data frame, which is the COVID-19. It is called simple a country. So I'll say right on is equal to country and then I'll say how how I'll first will first see different examples I'll say first inner okay inner join I want only the intersection of all these of these two data frames now you can see here how many values do I have I have only 140 rows whereas I had over 185 rows in the COVID-19 data frame and I had uh, 156 
here in my uh, happiness index data frame but since this is a an inner merge i have only 140 rows because there might be some countries which do not have uh, a corresponding value in the other data frame now we'll see how we can find those data frame values now i prepared a small uh, line of code which which will search for all the values that were all the countries that were present in one data frame but were not present in the other data frame so that we know whether we are committing any mistake or not so this is how it looks like the c country is the covid 19 country list so it is sorted so uh, i have sorted the list in ascending order so it is a list of c of country uh, i have uh, just uh, filtered out the country column using the C of country now happiness country I have made it another list uh, which which looks like this now matched list will contain currently it is empty but it will contain the list of all the countries that were present in both the data frames now C no match which would it would mean that it would give you it would give you the name of the countries which were not present in the happiness uh, happiness data frame but were present in the covid data frame now i will iterate through each of those uh, values in the country data in the covid data frame now if i can find this i in my happiness uh, this y is h right huh. if i can find uh, if i can find this each element of c in my h then i will append that element to my i uh, that then I will append that element to my matched list uh, list and I will remove that H country uh, and then from that H country list I will remove this I so that next time when we uh, when this I uh, searches again in H country it will have one less uh, element to search from right so this will improve our code a little bit on the time front now if it cannot find a match in the H country then it will append in the C no match uh, list okay so when I press enter now uh, my first thing what I want to look is what values were, did not match so this C match so these were the countries which did not have a match in my happiness data frame okay so I look what my happiness data frame currently looks like now since I iteratively removed all the uh, matched elements from the uh, happiness country list now currently what I have in my uh, happiness country list is all those countries which did not find a match okay so you can see here this United States did not find a match this is because in the uh, COVID data frame it is called as US whether while in my uh, happiness country it is called United States now we know that both are same like for Bosnia and Herzegovina we see that there is a small space here and while for Bosnia and Herzegovina it is uh, the space is not present here so hence the pandas assumed they were, these were different names and hence it did not include in my matched list uh, list okay so this is uh, not ideal so what I will do is I'll, I'll show this only for one example here I'll convert this US to United States okay so how will I do it it is pretty simple I'll say since this is in the COVID data frame what I'll do is uh, I'll say C of country give me the list of all the countries is equal to equal to us okay it will give me a boolean list of trues and falses now give me a data frame of this now it will show me that us is present in uh, number 171 okay so now what i'll do is i'll say c dot locate now i've covered this locate integer locate all these in the filtering slicing uh, lecture so you can watch that lecture as well now what i have uh, what I'll do is I'll since this is locate I'll pass in this value of 171 here I'll say locate this 171th row now it has told me that 171th row the country name is US so I'll say comma I want the zeroth column so I will say the country column give me the country column it will tell me US and I'll set it to United 
states okay so now if i run this code again c of country it is equal to us it will tell me that no such exist because now it has been converted to united states okay so now in my covid data frame us has been converted to united states so now if i run this pd dot merge again okay uh, if i run this pd dot merge again again after changing us to united states just so that you don't uh, think why i why i am doing this twice now now it will tell me now it will also include the united states so as you can see now this united states column is present here and it is present in united states is here now because uh, now left and right both of those data frames have united states it has given me the a uh, true result there now you can make your own analysis for example finland it was uh, first rank in my, in the ladder of the happiness index and how many confirmed cases do they have how many deaths do they have right so you can make a graphical analysis of that now it is time for tasks now unless you solve these examples you will never truly understand how this merge and joins and the uh, append and the concat work so it is imperative that you try it on your own now if you cannot do it no worries i will upload the solutions to this task on my github page which i will link in my uh, description below of this lecture so do check it out first try it yourself if you can do it well and good pat your back but if you cannot do it no worries just uh, go to, go over to my github page and find this uh, notebook there so finally i would like to request you to kindly uh, subscribe to my channel and like this video if you really liked it and i hope to see you in the next lecture thank you